All right, Chris Kroger with you from primetime, 3 to 7, Monday through Friday, right here on The Fan. And every Monday, we got this guy, Panthers great, Moosin Mohammed, former number 87, Moose. And when Moose comes on, we do Bomb Squad and Hit Squad, which means best offensive player, best defensive player from the game. It's been fun, Moose. Every week, it's a victory. Panthers 8 no, 37 29. Over the Packers, so we got to do Bomb Squad and Hit Squad. And I feel like I, you can go a wide array of places this week. So who you got on Bomb Squad? Well, you know, you can do a number of different guys on the Bomb Squad. Obviously, Cam Newton having yeah. a record type of game and having just a top performance. We saw the young guy, Devin Funches, coming alive I'm in this fun. game. Funches going deep. Funches for the touchdown, doing a lot of great things on that, right? So, I mean, we can really – Greg Olson has just been a yeah. consummate pro, right? The offensive line with the protection and everything that they've done – up until this point has been magical, but my bomb squad, Chris, is going to have to be Jericho Cotter, wow. right? The number 82. The old man. With, with 82 yards of four receptions. So I'm going to go with Cotter, and the reason why he was Johnny on the spot. When you least expected it, but you most needed it, Cotter was showing up making big plays. The busted coverage, taking advantage of that, weaving his way down the field, putting the team in a position over and over and over again. During that game, he came up with big play after big play. Now, it was tight. And I'll tell you, Funches played a good game. But for uh, Jericho to come back after sustaining the injuries early in the season, to come back and playing at this form, I think it says a lot. So my bomb squad is going to have to be Jericho Cotter. That 52-yarder to break it open on third and 16 in the first quarter. It was a big play from Cotter. All right, hit squad, best defensive player. I mean, TD had the big interception to seal the game. Coney Ely had some great pressure. Star and KK up the middle. Luke is always Luke. So there's a wide variety of ways we can go. Who's your hit squad nominee? Well, my hit squad is Kurt Coleman. You know, wow, and, and, off the and, beaten and, path. And I, and I have to go off the beaten path. But I think as I look at the body of work over the course of the weeks here, you know, Thomas Davis literally, we can give it to him every single week. Luke Keekley the same. And Kawan Short has been yep. playing at the top of this game. Starla Tule, same thing. I mean, and off the edge, you know, different guys have been giving pressure. So, you know, Addison was able to get in there a little bit this week. You know, you've seen Jared Allen creating pressure. So we've been able to do a little bit of everything. But the one thing that has been constant, but underappreciated, I think, under-highlighted too, is the play of Kirk Coleman out of Ohio State. I mean, this guy has come in, and he has just, uh, week in and week out, created big plays, turnovers, tackles for losses, sacks, the whole deal. And so, you know, the pressure that he was able to create, in addition to, you know, coverages and doing other things for this team, I think Kirk Coleman, for me, is my hit squad. He had two of those 16 hurries on Aaron Rodgers on Sunday. Most of his career, 16 hurries on those dropbacks. Bomb squad, hit squad every Monday with this guy. He's Musin Muhammad. And follow us on Twitter, if you will. It's at primetime WFNZ. We'll talk to you next Monday.